Okay, another cool blaster here. We got an M16, like a full-size M16. I posted a mini M16 the other day, and somebody said, oh, I'd love to see a full-size one. Well, here it is, guys. And this is from XForceTacUSA.com. Again, XForceTacUSA.com, U.S.-based website, product in country, ready to ship to you quickly. So let's check this out. This is the BLG M16 Gel Blaster. We should get close to uh, 200 FPS with this. And let's check out everything that's included and kind of put it together as we go. It's going to come with your 7.4 volt battery here. This is 1200 ma battery. The cylinder style that's going to go in the stock, of course. It comes with your USB charger. I'm just going to plug this in, charge this up, connect this to any AC adapter that's one amp or greater, like a smartphone charger, and you'll be set with that. Also, we got some gel beads here. Make sure you're soaking your beads properly. If you're looking at a blaster like this, hopefully you know how to do that. But the quick rundown is four to six hours, plenty of water, large enough container so they can grow to seven, eight millimeters and then drain off any excess water. You can always store extra gel beads in containers like this as long as they're airtight. Never ever store any beads in the magazine. And always, when you're done playing with this, Make sure that it's empty. So it's quite common with any magazine fed gel ball blaster that there's a couple left in there that it just can't suck out. That's normal across all brands, across all models. So shake any extra ones out and then push this little button here and give it a couple good flicks. You want to make sure you get all the gel balls out of here and then leave the door open just so that it helps dry it out. Okay, otherwise you can get some dehydrated gels. They can get caught on the flywheel. They can get caught in the feed tube. They can cause problems. So make sure you're doing that, okay? All right, so we went over that stuff. Let's get it, let's start putting it together. So you can see here, this is gonna, does have a nice metal barrel. That's just gonna line it up. You'll line it up in there. And then there's the little notches here that you just line up and turn. Okay, got a nice rail on the bottom here for accessories. And then here is your tip. So one thing I plan on doing for this is printing, oops, this does go on here, uh, is printing a little bayonet. You can find 3D print versions of bayonets that can go on the end here. So this just pushes on. You just have to push it a little harder than I was and kind of turn it if you're gonna use that tip. All right, of course you don't have to. But again, with realistic blasters, just be careful doing anything with them that could get yourself in trouble. You also have here a rail mount handle that can go on with your sight, and that'll just slide on the top here. And it's easier to go ahead and do that before we put this piece on. So I'm gonna go ahead and not do it at this time. Well, let me see, maybe we can flip it down. Sometimes if you can set this up in between the rails, and I did. All right. We can go ahead and add that there and just tighten it. So you got your handle on there. Here is your stock. Okay. Your, your battery is going to go right in there. You can see that hole. So what we're going to do is feed the harness through. Kind of feed it all the way through. There you go. It comes out this end. And this kind of pushes on similar to the front end. Line up those notches, click it in place, and you notice it kind of snapped in place. So that's what you want. And then to take it off, you can just kind of give it a turn. If it snaps in place good, that's how you want to do it. Take your battery here. Again, I always say go battery first and then connect the harness at the end so that the harness is easy for you to grab and get the battery out. And so you're not like digging it out or putting undue stress on the wires. So just kind of tuck that harness piece back in and you can put this on here. So let's check it. We got it on safety. No, we don't. Now we've got it on automatic. Safety. Okay. So this one's just gonna be fully automatic. All right which is pretty normal for these, or safety. So we'll go ahead and put it safety now. We've got it safety. Magazine, you're gonna fill up with gel beads, of course, or gel balls. And then this is just going to fit in here. Give it a good push, it should be tight. 
Here's your mag release button right here. Just release it. Just push it down to release. You can see this pop out on this side. Push it down to release. Okay. You also have your safety over on this side. All right. So you can go ahead and use either one of these. I think we just need to line them up. There we go. All right. So this is your M16. We talked about the magazine. We talked about everything that you need right here. Cool thing with this one is if you already have an M4, that's uh, that Jin Ming Gen 8, it appears that it fits the magazines just fine. So this is one of those magazines, and it fits in here. Okay, locks in. I'm going to shoot it with this too just to make sure, but it looks like it fits fine. And then that also includes the drum mag. Okay, this one I think I had to click. Yeah, just give it a little, a little more of a push, but it, it locks in and then push it to release. So I'm gonna try both those out because it appears that they fit. It appears that the connections line up just fine, so it should work. All right, so we're talking about the M16 right here. It's the BLG M16 Gel Ball Blaster. It is from xforcetacusa.com. Again, xforcetacusa.com. Check their website out. Check back for the demo. Comments, questions, post them below. Please like all the videos, subscribe, and participate in the giveaways. Thanks.